Hi and welcome to Tutorial See You. My name is Yannick and in this video we're going to take a look on how you can find memory leaks in .NET applications. If you are interested in more higher level .NET videos, go ahead and leave a like right here and subscribe to our channel so that you no longer miss any of our upcoming videos. Now without further talking, let's get started, let's play Sherlock Holmes and let's find some memory leaks. Alrighty, so let's get started. This is our project and if you want to follow along, which I highly suggest as always, you can find the link for that project here in the description below. So simply go ahead and download the source code for that, open it up using Visual Studio 2022 and then you're good to go. So let me just go through this real quick so that you know what is happening here and where the memory leak is coming from. So we have a, a program here, we have a static list of type string and then we have our main method which is, well, uh, containing or which contains a while loop which is always running for sure and inside of that while loop we generate random strings with an incredible length of uh, 10,000 characters we add it to that list and then we call thread sleep for one millisecond basically just so that um, the program is not freezing because you know if you have a while loop which is not uh, sleeping in any kind of way you're just having a frozen program right now the get random string method, which we use to generate those uh, random strings, basically just, uh, well, it's just a for loop attaching characters and then concatenates them to add it to the list finally. Awesome. So we will now uh, install a tool. So go ahead and open up the common prompt. Now let's install a tool called .NET counters. So let's .NET tool install. We want to install that globally. So let's at a global flag here, .NET counters. There we go, let's hit enter. Perfect, we got that tool installed now. Let's go ahead, we can close that or just uh, minimize it. And let's just run our application. So let's uh, get that memory leak starting. Awesome, so I just minimized it. You can see now everything is working here. And then let's come back to our console. And now let's run some comments here. So. The first one is .NET counters and PS, which is listing all the .NET processes running on your system right now. And you can see the first one is leak.executable and its uh, process ID is 5580, so keep that in mind. Now the next comment that we want to run is .NET counters monitor and add a P flag and add the process ID. Now let's hit enter. And you can see the garbage collector heap size right here increasing. And that's the memory leak, right? So our program just increases um, and consumes more and more of our available free memory because it doesn't allocate it in the correct way. And that's the so-called memory leak in that scenario right here. So what we want to do is we want to get rid of that, right? So right now we see how much memory already gets allocated and that it doesn't stop because it's increasing. And now we want to go deeper and find the cause of this memory leak. Alrighty now, please allow me to real quick pitch you our 21 day ASP.NET Core and Angular Challenge. It will just take a couple of seconds. So if you are interested in .NET development, and I bet you are because you have clicked on that video here, you should check out this online course. As I said, it's a 21 day program, but you can do it in your own speed, so absolutely no problem and you will learn ASP.NET Core in depth and Angular to build entire full stack applications to become a better c -shop programmer while helping you to land your first job or earn money while increasing your salary as an employed developer, for example. So this course is a completely unique experience of an online course and it's not comparable to anything else what you have well experienced so far and I'm 100% sure about that this is the best way of how you can proceed as a C Sharp developer and the best way on how you can learn ASP.NET Core in depth. So if you want to become a true .NET hero, you should not skip this. Check out the link in the description below or in the info card popping up right now in the top right corner. So for this specific scenario, you for sure know uh, where exactly the issue is, right? It's in the source code, it's in the while loop right here. This one's causing the memory leak. But just imagine that you are working on another software, maybe developed by another developer, and uh, you don't know where the issue is. And then you for sure want to see, okay, is there a real memory leak? Let's take a look at the heap size in the garbage collector. 
And if there is, so like in our scenario, you want to dig deeper, you want to find out where exactly the issue is using more and more uh, information from our diagnostic tools that we're going to use. Awesome. So let's call .NET tool. We want to install another tool. Also, we want to install that globally and it's called .NET dump. Let's hit enter again. So after installing the .NET dump tool, you want to go ahead and restart the application. And then we want to run some comments here. So what we want to do is we want to .NET dump PS. So this time we also call the PS again, but with .NET dump, not with .NET counters, and then hit enter. You can see our leak again here, new process ID because we restarted it. And what we want to do now is we want to create a dump. So a snapshot of our application containing a lot of information. So call .NET dump again. We just remove that white space here. So .NET dump, and then we want to call collect at p again for the process id 19836 so this creates a dump file you can see it is writing full to a specific path and now we can take that dump file and read it and analyze it so let me just simply copy that path here i'm going to take that and now we can simply call .NET dump analyze and now we can add the path so simply add it hit enter you can now see loading core dump ready to process analysis comments. Now we are interested in the um, heap. So this is why we call dump heap and then stat hit enter again. Now let's scroll up until you can find the column names. Let me just get that here. You can see the column names, empty count, total size, class and name. So what this basically is, is like the memory address the number of instances of, uh, of this class, the size and the class name for sure. And now let's take a look at the total size here. You can see 24, right? And as more as you scroll down, just scroll down, you can see that the size increases 360 and all the way down, you can see objects are getting bigger and bigger. And here, our biggest object, right? You can see it's system string. So we have a huge number of bytes just in strings. Now let's copy that allocated memory address here. We can zoom in on that address. If we just call dump heap again, then empty. And now let's simply, so empty is like the memory uh, address on the left side, right? And we wanna go deeper into that. Now let's see what's happening here. So what it basically did, it just listed all of the addresses, counts, total sizes, and all class name for each single instance of the existing strings. In total, you can see 4,700 objects, something like that, all of type string. Now, this is something that you would potentially find in your, well, to inspect application, right? Now, let's take a look at one specific object here. Let's copy the address of one single instance. So I'm just picking one here, want to take that. Now, go to GC garbage collector root, call that GC root want to use the all flag and then paste the address right here want to hit enter again oh yeah and i want to do that with one dash not with two there we go and now we are right inside of that one single instance basically what we can see are the roots based on that information here we should get an, a good idea about what is causing the memory leak so if we take a look we can see for sure program cs right so this is very important we can also see yep yeah, that instance is held by our program.cs class where our source code is located. And if we continue scrolling down until we come to the handle table, you can even see that we are talking about the list, right? So uh, I will just show that in a second again, or I can show right now our strings. So get random string for sure will get created. So we will create an instance and we put it right into a list. So here we get our list. So this is why you can see that it is held by a list so you can even tell where the instance is exactly located awesome and that's one proper way on how you can get information about what is causing a memory leak in your application well congratulations you are now a better software developer if you followed along you know now 
how to identify memory leaks in your applications and that's a huge step forward in becoming a true .NET hero. And if you liked that video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel right now and leave a like so that you no longer miss any of our nice videos. And make sure that you check out our C Sharp Progress Academy, right? Learn ASP.NET Core and Angular in 21 days or in your own speed and become a true .NET hero. Check it out right now. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching again. See you next time. Have a great day.